Hi, how you doing? It's Oz here. Um, a little while ago, I recorded a video for the people that have subscribed to my newsletter. You, you have subscribed to my newsletter, haven't you? If not, shame on you. Obviously, I'll put a link down below. Um, I send out all sorts of things to them, and one particular video that I'd, I'd recorded that, that seemed really popular, and so I thought I'd come and talk to you guys about it, was comparing the different methods of basic power generation in striking that I was taught when I did um, karate for, for a number of years with that used in classical pugilism. And effectively, you're not going to see this very clearly because obviously you can't see my feet, but the basic principle of the, the power generation in karate that I was taught was that everything comes from this rotational movement of the hips and that's used, that kind of drives a whipping action to drive this punch out in that way. And you can generate a certain amount of power from that, but the, the thing I always struggled with was the fact that to generate a real solid punch, I'd want to throw this hip around and really drive this hip in to get a nice solid punch there. And I was always taught that, that we need to minimise this movement and really create it. And obviously what they're trying to do is get this rotational force behind the punch to drive this arm out like a piston. I never really managed to be successful in any way with that. Um, and it was only when I started looking at some of the pugilistic sources that I, I, I kind of began to understand power generation in striking a little bit more. And what they do, and this is a, a, a theme that crops up throughout the pugilistic era, is try to get the whole body weight moving behind a punch. So that instead of this hand landing with all the force that the muscles of my, my core and, and my arm can throw it out with, I'm actually adding to that strength the whole momentum of my body. So the kinetic energy of, of my body weight falling forwards is driven behind this punch. So instead of throwing this out with this nice upright body stance driven by this whipping movement of the hips, what's actually happening is we're falling forward and driving that punch out in a much, much more powerful way. Now, I'm not trying to say that karate punches are bad. All I'm trying to say is that I personally never got them to work in the way I was taught. That's as far as I'm, I'm wanting to go on that. But the pugilistic stuff, to me, seems much, much simpler. And, if I'm going to be honest, much more effective. Now, rather than put a whole list of tutorials and, and drills here, what I've done is I've, I've created a list of tutorials, a list of drills, and I've stuck them all together on a page. It's, it's up for sale at the moment. It is for sale. So this is, in some way, a sales video too. It's only a few pounds, it's the cheapest course I've got out there at the moment, it's less than the price of a couple of drinks. Um, go check it out, I'll stick a link down below, you can see the first video, um, and if it's something you want to, to have a look at, please consider supporting me by signing up to the course. It's up at the moment for £7, and it's only going to stay at that price until uh, lunchtime, on Tuesday the 17th. The idea of this course, like most of the stuff I do, is that it's been created as, as a gift for those people who are signed up to the Serious Striking course. I'm not going to try and sell you that. Um, the stuff about it on the website, if you're interested, go take a look. But if you're interested in it, and, and it, it strikes me that power generation is something that transcends the art that we're looking at. And I've had some really very interesting conversations with some people who are still doing Oriental Martial Arts, including Ian Abernethy. And it turns out that a lot of the stuff I'm doing from classical pugilism, he's also doing from real old school karate. So there's a huge amount of crossover. If it's something that interests you, take a look below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you around soon. Take care, guys.